Hello students and welcome to our slow flight execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we'll be focusing on. The objective of slow flight is to develop the ability to maintain positive aircraft control in a slow speed, high angle of attack flight attitude. Now these flight attitudes are not normal during cruising flights, but they can occur during takeoff and the approach and landing phases of a flight. Therefore, it is important that we understand how to operate the aircraft at these speeds and attitudes. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all of the additional details we just mentioned above and to study this lesson's full length, presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and a whole bunch more, look up the slow flight lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. Lastly, before we jump into the cockpit, there are a couple key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. First, we are going to be performing this maneuver at a safe altitude, so as we load into the cockpit, we're going to be at at least 2,500 feet AGL. We do need to be able to complete this entire maneuver while staying above 1,500 feet AGL. So that gives us about a thousand foot buffer. So that's where we'll go ahead and start it at that 2,500 feet AGL in the practice area in the cruise configuration. Next, we will complete clearing turns to assure there is no traffic in our immediate vicinity that we won't be a hazard to anybody and nobody's going to be a hazard to us. Then, from our cruise configuration and altitude, we'll begin slowing our airspeed to our target airspeed. So we're going to bring our throttle back, holding altitude, and we're going to start slowing down to our target airspeed for slow flight. In this example today, we're going to use 60 knots as our target airspeed. So we're going to be flying along at 60 knots. While we are maintaining altitude and slowing the airplane, we're also going to extend our flaps to full and our landing gear as appropriate. Now we're going to be flying a Cessna 172 so it doesn't have extendable landing gear, but if your airplane did, then you would extend the landing gear at this point. Now, at approximately five knots above our target airspeed, so if our target airspeed is 60 knots, at about 65 knots, what we're going to do is we're slightly going to increase our power with our throttle. Now, we're not going to go all the way to full, but we are going to slightly increase our power to stabilize the airplane in the slow flight attitude and at the slow flight airspeed okay because we essentially want to stop slowing down so a little bit before we get to our target we're going to add some power in to help us kind of stabilize at our speed in this configuration we'll be operating on the what's called the back side of the power curve we'll be controlling our altitude with changes in our power and we'll be controlling our airspeed with changes in our pitch and we'll show you how all that works once we get in the plane also, while we're in slow flight, we're going to show you guys how to perform some climbs, descents, and turns, uh, turns to headings, sorry, before increasing our power and then recovering back to cruise flight by cleaning up our flaps and landing gear. So, we'll cover the rest of the airplane, we'll demonstrate everything for you. So, let's head out there and execute some slow flight. All right, students, welcome. We are out here at our airplane about to perform slow flight for you so before we do that let's kind of go ahead and show you where we are at uh, in the cockpit we'll do our clearing turns and then we'll get set up for the maneuver so we're gonna hop in the cockpit I'm gonna start giving us a clearing turn here we're gonna do a let's see let's do a 180 degree clearing turn to the left so we'll do a 180 turn to the left and we'll be looking outside for traffic while we do that now after we do this clearing turn we will go ahead and start to slow the aircraft, add our flaps in, and start getting to that uh, target slow airspeed of 60 knots. We'll kind of show you how we're going to get there in the process. And then we'll take, we'll say about, yeah, let's go by here with our heading. Okay. So as we're doing our clearing turns, we're going to go ahead and look outside, see how we're doing. I'm going to see if there's any traffic in the area around us. Yeah. Thinking everything is looking good. So, in the cockpit. Again, we're here at our cruise flight. We're at 3,000 feet AGL. Remember, you have to complete the entire maneuver above 1,500 feet AGL. So, 
we just figured 3,000 is good. So we're going to go with 3,000. That way we can stay above that 1,500 the entire time. Next, we're going to pick an outside visual reference point. So I'm just going to kind of use uh, the island that is out in front of us as our outside visual reference point. Maybe I can pop outside and show you that the island out here. Uh, just to get started. Now we are going to be doing climbs, turns, descents, and everything like that. But just for our initial heading, I've got it bugged. We've got our altitude bug, and we've got our outside visual reference. So I'm going to kick off the autopilot, and then we'll go ahead and run through it. Let's kick off the autopilot. I might have to retrim the aircraft. I always have to after I kick off the autopilot. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce our power back quite a bit here so that we can start slowing and again I'm just going to be trimming holding back pressure to hold our altitude so that we can slow down now if you just let the nose of your aircraft descend then you're never going to slow down so we do have to hold that back pressure add some back trim in okay we're coming all the way to full with our flaps now we're about five knots above our target airspeed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase power quite a bit here to hold our altitude okay so we're at our 60 knots that's our target airspeed but we are descending just a little bit still so I'm going to continue to add in some power to stay at that 3,000 feet remember right now since we're in slow flight we are on the back side of the power curve so we're going to be controlling our altitude with power and we're going to be controlling our airspeed with our pitch so if we're low we need to add some power if we're too high we need to reduce the power. If we're too slow, we need to pitch down. If we're too fast, we need to pitch up. Now, this maneuver is really simple, especially if you can get the aircraft trimmed out just right. So, now you can see that we're climbing. So, in order to decrease the climb, I'm going to bring some power back. And I'm going to pitch down on my nose just a little bit to speed up. Stay at that 60. So, pretty simple. Remember, we're powering for altitude. We're pitching for our airspeed. Okay. Also in slow fight, you can make turns, right? It's not like dangerous or anything like that. We know that we hear rumors like that. It's not dangerous to make turns in slow fight. Just make your nice, coordinated, standard rate turns. Let's go ahead and make a turn maybe over to 150 over here. Might have to add some power in the turn because we are going so slow. And to hold our altitude and our airspeed, we may need to increase some power. So we're banking over. Just a nice, gentle bank. We're going to go to 150 keeping an eye on our altitude and our airspeed. Okay, there's over to our 150. Let's go ahead and maybe make a turn back to our original heading, where our heading bug's at. Nice, gentle turn over to the left. Increase in power just a little bit as we need. Our heading cool so nice little left turn nice little right turn and we're back on our heading again completely safe as long as you're staying coordinated and you're adding a little bit of power for those turns now next let's go ahead and show us how to climb let's say we want to climb up to 3200 feet okay we want to climb up 200 feet here in slow flight we're going to keep our speed at 60 but what we're going to do is we're going to increase our power and then just pitch to keep our speed at 60. As we're increasing our power, you're going to see we're going to start to climb. We're going to be pitching for our airspeed using power for altitude. Now, it's not going to be a super quick climb, but that's because we're not in quick flight, right? We're in slow flight. So we're doing our slow climb. Speed at 60. We're on our heading. And we're climbing nice and easy up to 3,200 feet. As we get to 3,200 feet, we're going to go ahead and bring our power back now because we don't want to climb anymore. And we're just going to kind of level out here at 3,200, keeping an eye on our airspeed. And one thing I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a turn, probably around to, well, let's say, heading 180. Looking for traffic out here, kind of making this like another clearing turn. But you can see when the aircraft is trimmed properly, 
like it flies so smoothly in slow flight. It's very easy to control, contrary to popular belief, right? As long as you get it trimmed out com very well, and then you're making very small inputs on both your trim, your power, your yoke, everything like that, it's just very small controlled inputs, then it's a pretty easy maneuver to fly. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and descend back down to 3,000 feet. So I'm going to bring my power back. And uh, again, I'm going to be pitching for that 60 on our speed. And you can see we are starting our nice, easy descent back down to 3,000 feet. And when you're looking outside, it almost doesn't even look like a descent because we are kind of still have a positive angle of attack. But that's fine. We are descending and we're doing it nice and gently. We'll make even a descending turn here. Let's go ahead and go to, let's say, heading 240. We'll descend while we're turning. So we've shown you guys how to get into slow flight. We've shown you how to do turns left and right and maintaining altitude, climbs, descents, descending turns, climbing turns, everything like that. It's all really easy as long as you're making small inputs and you're really keeping an eye on your airspeed. Yeah, we'll go to 270. That's that's a good heading. Come out nice and easy on 270. Once we're to 3,000 feet, again, we're going to go ahead and increase our power to arrest our descent and level out here at 3,000 feet. 270. Piece cake. Now, it does take a lot of traffic, or sorry, a lot of practice because the controls will feel a little bit mushy in slow flight that's because they're not getting as much airflow as they would be in cruise flight so the less airflow the controls are experiencing like the less airflow you have over your elevator or your rudder or your uh, ailerons the less effective they're going to be and since we're flying so slow we don't have as much airflow so they're not as effective yeah nice and simple again slow flight Lastly, we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, recover from slow flight. So we're just going to stay on this heading of 270. To recover, what we're going to do is we're going to go full power. And we're just going to trim the nose of the aircraft down to stay at this 3,000 feet. Okay. One thing to really show that you've mastered you know, your aircraft is to be able to maintain your altitude when you're coming into and out of uh, flight maneuvers and transitioning between flight maneuvers. So I want to stay at this 3,000. I don't want to just let my altitude go completely whack because I'm doing a recovery. Program. I want to stay at this 3,000 feet, retract my flaps, staying on my heading and my altitude. And this just shows that I've mastered the uh, power and the control of my airplane when I'm getting into out of different maneuvers or really basically in any situation. So now we're back in cruise flight, right? We've got our flaps up. Our RPMs are looking good, airspeed's looking good, we're on our heading, and our altitude, we're back to cruise. So, that is it for this slow flight lesson, guys. Hope you enjoyed it with us today, and we will see you on our next maneuver lesson coming up soon.